Okay, after a lot of trial and error, uh, I use my JVC camcorder. It's in a Vario. Unfortunately, it gives me these files called mod files, which you can see here. It's a .mod file. Um, it's basically the same format as an MPEG file, but unfortunately, uh, this is not able to be edited with a lot of video editing programs. Um, so what we're going to do is convert this over. Uh, I was not able to find any free programs to do this. The only program I was able to get a hold of was uh, Cyberlink DVD or Power Director. There's also a Power DVD that you can use. Um, this is a really good program also not only for making uh, converting videos but also for making DVDs, uh, doing video editing, uh, things of that nature. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here to Import Media, Import Media Files, uh, go to our desktop, select that folder or that file rather, and it pops up there. And now what we're going to do is drag this down here so that we have the file. Uh, actually we can double click and go in here and make some editations if we need to to reduce the size of the file, the length of the file. We can trim it, crop it, uh, make other edits as we need, it, as we need to. Um, finally we go up here to produce after you have the file set the way you want go up to produce gives you a variety of options here um, I find that either you know possibly an MPEG file uh, AVI is always good to work with um, I'm actually exporting into a WMV file right now um, and then you have a variety of options as far as quality goes uh, I selected uh, Windows 9 uh, HD standard quality, uh, it's 6000 kbps bitrate, 29 fps, good resolution, um, the audio quality is 320 kbps, uh, so definitely good quality. Um, when I exported this into another file, I would say the quality is equal. Um, obviously it wouldn't be better, but I would say that it's definitely equal to the original file. Uh, when you push start down here, uh, it's going to export it to the uh, folder that you have listed right here. Um, it does take a little bit of time simply because you are encoding a new video from an old video. Uh, it's it's having to go through and rewrite everything that's already written. So it does take some time, but it is a good system. Uh, definitely a good program. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put a link to this program in the sidebar, so check it out.